Hi guys, it's Savannah Beachwave. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while and I wanted to address my absence and also what's been going on with Silverglade Saddles and everything like that. So, regarding my absence, I actually thought that for the past couple months that I had been posting videos, like, regularly, that actually were never uploaded. So this entire time, I thought that I was being really good, pumping out the content, you know, getting everything out for you guys, because I know I've been bad with that in the past. But actually, none of my videos were actually uploading, even though they would say uploaded, and I would fill out the entire description, name the videos, edit them, and everything like that. They were never actually uploading. So this entire time, I thought you guys were seeing these videos when you weren't. So now I'm going to be posting those videos over the next couple of weeks, regularly, once a week. I'm not sure what day. I will disclose it on my Instagram once I figure out um, which day. I'm not going to be that busy. But that is what was going on. I just want to say I'm super sorry. I know I should have went back and checked that they were actually up, but I was kind of stressed out because... Um, I was going on vacations and things were happening with my family, so I didn't really have time to check. So whenever I was ready to upload a video, I would just go to YouTube, upload the video, do the description, everything like that, and then just sign off. So I never actually look. <laughs> so I'm very sorry about that. And those videos will be out as soon as I can get them out. Now addressing Silverglade Saddles. So as many of you probably saw, yesterday I did post a Instagram saying that Silverglade Saddles was disbanded. I just want to say thank you to everybody who was in Silverglade Saddles, who supported me, who found me and loved what I was doing. I know I've met so many amazing people who were on my team, and I just got to be a part of this amazing thing, and it was two years of this and I know people who were with me from day one and people I met when they were just starting in the realistic role community and now they're like pro realistic rollers and it just makes me so happy that I was able to be a part of so many people's lives and affect how they feel about realistic role and star stable. Now, this is bittersweet though because I am opening up a new club partnered with my best, best friend, Jennifer Mountain Daughter. Now, Jennifer had come on and been a part of Silverglade Saddles kind of on and off for a little while just because she was kind of figuring out if she wanted to be um, a part of the Realistic Role community um, on social media and things like that, or if she wanted it to kind of be something for herself where she would roll with her po close personal friends or just roll by herself. And so that's why her Instagram was kind of on and off and how she was kind of on and off with the club. But now she is fully ready to be co-owner of NHA, Northern Hundreds Association, and here she is right now. Hey guys, um, I'm really excited to see you guys. I have to go because I'm grooming my horse, but thank you guys. Please apply. I can see you guys in the near future. Bye. Okay, so as Jennifer just said, make sure that you apply. They will be linked on the new website on the Applications tab, which the website will be linked in the description. I will tag um, Jennifer's Instagram and everything like that. You can also find that on the website um, under the Contact tab, but there's a new Discord, a new Instagram, new logo. Everything will be linked in the description, and also everything is on the website, including lesson plans and things like that. So now I'm going to talk about the lessons a little bit. Okay, so I knew that one of my flaws when doing Silverglade Saddles, it was my first realistic roll club that kind of took off. I was always doing clubs and things like that, but I was never really involved until Silverglade Saddles where I like made a website and everything like that and it was so awesome. But I kind of screwed myself over because I was doing lessons every single day. And I'm a student in school, I have homework, I do extracurricular activities, and I ride horses. So realistically, that just doesn't make sense to have to balance everything and also be doing lessons every single day. So that's where I kind of um, had the downfall there. So I decided to turn it around for NHA, and there's going to be two lessons per week. So there will be one lesson on Monday and one lesson on Friday. The times um, are listed on the website, so please make sure you go check those out. Link in the description, of course. But also, 
you are able to schedule a private, semi-private, or group lesson with an instructor of choice anytime throughout the week. You just have to message them two days in advance to set up the time, the date, the place, everything like that. And if you're doing a semi-private or a group to set up how many people will be riding. Now, we have a new Discord, as I just said. Um, like I said before, or wait, no, I'm not sure if I did say it before. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I will be opening and I will still have the Silverglade Saddles Instagram account and Discord and website if you still want to join those because I have met so many people throughout Silverglade Saddles um, and some of them might not be transferring over to NHA. So if they are not, I still want to be able to keep in touch with them, DM them, see you guys. Um, I won't be posting on there, I don't think but I might, so make sure you're always keeping up with that. Okay, so now I wanted to talk a little bit about riding instructors, like I mentioned before, how there are going to be multiple riding instructors. So I just want to talk about that for a little, and then we'll move on to our next subject. So for team lessons, the only people who will be coaching is going to be me, Jennifer, and then our head riding instructor and kind of barn manager, Emily Fire Valley, who you guys probably know from um, videos that I did in the past with her and also their Instagram pictures and things like that. And that video did so well and you guys loved her so much. So she's going to be back on the channel a lot. So get excited for that. But there will be other riding instructors who are going to be doing semi-privates groups and private lessons, but also us three will also be doing those as well. So that's why I said instructor of choice. So you don't have to always come to me or always go to Jennifer or things like that. You can also come to um, other riding instructors. You, just, you have to message them two days in advance, like I said before. Okay, so instructor applications are open on the website under the instructors, um, not instructors tab, sorry, applications tab. There will be a link for writing instruct, there will be a link for writing application, I'm sorry for misspeaking, and there will also be an instructor's application link. So those are two different um, applications that we will be reviewing. We check the applications every single day, so feel free to apply, and we are not going to be... Um, like telling everybody at once, if we see your application and we like it, we will message you immediately so you know for sure so there's not that drastic waiting period where you um, don't know. So now I want to speak on my next subject, which is um, borders and horses and things like that. So you are able to board your horse in our district of the barn. You just need to register them, which will be listed on the application, with their show name, breed, height, um, age and things like that, also with their coat color. Now, for the time being, you are only allowed to board one horse with our district of the barn and only register one horse because that is going to be the horse that you primarily train on and show on and do clinics on. So we need to know how you work and how you are with that horse so we know how to train you well. Okay, guys, sorry about the weird change of scenery. I had to get out of the stable because there were other horses coming through and things like that. But I was just about to go ride Levi, so I decided to bring him out with me and just, like, chill in the stall for a little while I wait to go ride. I just need to finish up this video. So I think that's all I need to address right now. Um, but there will be updates on my Instagram, and also please make sure to follow the NHA Instagram. Um, I will link it in the description, of course. Um, make sure you check out the website, like I said, apply, do all the things you need to do. Um, my Instagram, Jennifer's Instagram, and Emily's Instagram will be linked down below, so please keep up with all our socials if you want to know the new details on the club, and we will see you guys all next time. Bye!